Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, I have the new Iconic Chromes from Magpie Beauty to show you today. I have already applied them so that you can see. I'm actually going to do a tutorial to do something a little bit different with these. There are already a lot of application videos, so I've already done mine. Now, just before I start and show you the colours, one little tip. So the way I did these is two coats of Black Betty, then I did one coat of Don't Be Tacky, then I burnished in the pigments, then I went over them with a silicone tool, and then I did another coat of the new i think it's shine bright the top coat now when you do the layer of don't be tacky make sure you do a generous layer let it settle for about 20 30 seconds if you're really particular you can turn the nail over and, and let it sort of level like that if you don't put enough on you will get this pitted look here so you'll know that you haven't put enough top coat top coat on if it starts to get a little bit pitted you can see there's a couple little marks so that's just one to, one tip when using that if you want a beautiful beautiful finish make sure you pop enough don't be tacky on but i'm going to quickly run through the names and then i'm going to get straight on with the tutorial so starting with this one on the left we have florence the next one is Teresa. The following one is Marilyn. Then we have Madonna. And then we have Diana. And then the final two. So the beautiful gold is Elizabeth. And then the final one, the sort of beautiful coppery colour is Audrey. So these are all iconic women in history that they have been named after. They are absolutely beautiful. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you how to use these with some stamping. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek, sneak peek. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a new Dixie Plates plate. It's being released imminently. And I'm going to be stamping with moira black stamping gel so we're going to use the pigments with that now the only other product i'm using that isn't magpie is the ugly duckling matte top coat and that is purely because ugly duckling have one and magpie doesn't as yet and i i just adore the ugly duckling one so i do need a matte top coat so i'm going to stop banging on and we're going to show you how to create some awesome awesome nails using these gorgeous chromes and some stamping Okay, so I'm going to just talk through the first one. So I've done my two coats of Black Betty and I've cured. Now I'm going in with the Ugly Duckling matte top coat here. Now the idea of this is because I only want the pigment or the chrome to stick to the stamping. So I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to cure it and I'll be back to show you how I'm going to do the stamping in the chrome. Okay, so at this point I'm also putting gloves on because these chromes literally cover everything and I want to, I'm quite messy, so I don't want to get it all over my hands and everywhere. So this is cured, this is the matte top coat cured, so I'm just going to wipe off the inhibition layer with a wipe with some isopropyl alcohol. It, you, don't, you definitely don't need a cleanser with this, this comes off perfectly with the isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to let that evaporate and then the next step is to actually stamp. So I'm going to be using this, this is a stamping gel now you don't need to cure it you just need to let it sit for about 15 seconds 10 to 15 seconds before you add the pigment so this is from moira so i'll link all of the products that i'm using below so that has evaporated nicely so we just have this fantastic matte top coat now so that is what it looks like it's still got a little bit to evaporate but we can still work with that so now i'm going to go in with the animal plate from dixie plates as i said this is the new release very very coming very very soon so i have all of my stuff here ready to go so i'm just going to pick a random animal print i am going to do all seven i think because i think all of these are absolutely stunning so i think we will start off with the snake print up here so all you need to do with this is pop a little bit on and you do not need a lot so hold the plate scrape and then roll it onto your stamper and as you can see, that has picked up absolutely beautifully. So move the plate out of the way. Now, obviously, this is black on black, so you're not really going to be able to see what you're doing in terms of where it's gone. So I pop that on. Now, you can sort of see that. So as I'm talking to you, I'm just going to let the sort of 10 seconds um go by so i'm using the map pie uh i'm not actually sure what this is this is a chroming tool i think so i'm going to be using that 
it probably does need another head on but I'm just going to go with this one for the video so pop a little bit of the chrome onto your tool and then just pat it onto the nail and I'm not rubbing I'm not burnishing here I'm just very lightly patting straight down so that I'm not being too vigorous and I'm barely using anything but it is going a long long way so that is it so when you think you have it properly covered the next step is to use a brush to brush away any of the excess so I'm going to use this cute little mermaid brush which I now stock so vigorously, vigorously, vigorously brush. You want to be able to see the colour underneath. And obviously this is quite a, um, what's the word? It's quite a fine stamping image. So you'll see the underneath, but you won't see lots and lots of black because the majority of this is pigment. But that is what we're looking for. So when you're happy that you've brushed away any excess pigment, you would then go on to top coat. So I'm going to top coat and I'll come back. I'm just going to do the others sped up now because you know what I'm going to do. And then we'll come back right at the end. Okay guys, all done. I finished off with Shine Bright, which is the newest top coat to Magpie. So these are beautiful. These chromes apply really, really nicely. So even with this fine, fine stamping of this first one here, this snake print, the chrome has covered it beautifully. You can definitely tell that it's the snake print. So I just thought this plate would be a nice plate to test these chromes out with. So just every single colour is absolutely gorgeous. I do like this sort of turtle shell one at the bottom here. So if you want to know when the plate's out, stick to the Dixie Plates Facebook group because we'll have the release date in there. The chromes are already on the Magpie Beauty website. I don't know if you can buy them individually, but they normally release the set first and then individually. So I'll link everything below. So thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Any comments or questions, pop them in the comments box and I'll get back to you. As I said, I'll link the products. I'll pop some closer photos of these at the end. And please subscribe if you haven't, guys. I really appreciate your support. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.